And what that will do is if you take your total storage minus 125 gigabytes that you want a premium one single user to access, then you can reduce it for everyone else. I manage an org that has five users. I have admin access to adjust settings for users. How can I give one user the majority of the Google Drive space available? It's currently limited to 30 gigabytes and the other four users do not need that much space. I wanna give the one user about 125 gig and the others what's left. Okay, so this is an interesting question, but you're actually approaching it the wrong way. Each person's storage, whether it's one terabytes or two terabytes or more, is gonna be pulled into one big storage pool. Now to limit users access and to make some users unlimited, what you wanna do is actually go into your storage settings and set a policy around storage. So let's go ahead and do that inside our Google Drive. Now, the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna to go to our admin panel and there we head along to admin.google.com and that's gonna bring up our admin panel. So we're gonna to go to our admin panel and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to storage here you can see I've got all the storage and all the different users in my account and how much storage they are actually using individually. You can also see the storage for your shared drives. So where you have your different shared drives and files sitting in those shared drives, they actually show up there as well. Now, if you wanna set an individual storage limit, you can click onto the manage button here and then we can start to actually set a policy. Now, policies are applied at the organizational unit level. So if you see along here on the left-hand side, right now I'm at the very top level of IT Genius Australia. And so that's gonna set the storage limit for any user included in that organization. So that's gonna be every single person inside my company. Now, that's not really what I want right this second. So what I actually want is to set an individual storage limit for a group of users. So in this case, this person has said, well, I want one person to use 125 and I want everyone else to use what's left. Now, let's say maybe you want everybody else to use five gigabytes, but no more. Well, what we would do is we would create a new organizational unit here and we would say limited storage users. And so I won't do that in this moment because I don't want to disrupt my teams, but we'd create a new organizational unit. And let's say, for example, we want to limit the remote technician organizational unit to five gigabytes. We'd first click on the organizational unit and instead of inheriting the storage limit we'd say switch this on to override the policy and i could say five gigabytes once i hit save it's automatically going to save those changes and it's going to apply those policies now all i have to do is go to my users menu next in directory and then users and then i can move the users into the correct organizational unit once I move a user into the correct organizational unit, that means that that person is going to be stored in the correct place. So it makes it nice and easy. And what that will do is if you take your total storage minus 125 gigabytes that you want a premium one single user to access, then you can reduce it for everyone else. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.